Mr. Campbell, you have a blue card from Mr. Coburn. Do you accept it? Mr. Coburn, you have 30 seconds. Thank you. Thank you, David, for taking my question. Um, I liked what you said. A lot of what you said made sense. Um, would you agree with me that there is an enormous danger that ordinary people dealing in, in, uh, in the art markets in, in small ways, in, in debellages in France, in, in small markets, are going to be crucified by this ludicrous law. Again, this neurosis about terrorism, it's pure Orwell. You know, there are ways of doing this at the moment. Auction houses, if they see something that it, it shouldn't be in the market, they will inform the authorities. And surely, do you not agree with me that there is enough legislation? We don't need more. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kerman. Yes, I know that you, you, you deal with antiques and are an expert in this area. I, do, I am worried. I have a wonderful grandfather clock. I have no idea how old it is. It's probably 17th century. I could never prove where it's come from if I were to move it somewhere uh, under these new, pre um, uh, new laws. Um, I also have some stuff from the Prime Minister. I'm related to a former Prime Minister before 1900. So um, I, I feel that this is going too far and is impractical and won't work and it really doesn't help it. I'm, I'm all in favour of cracking down on terrorist financing. This doesn't help. Thank you.